All right, in this video, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting uh, integers or positive and negative numbers. So, the first thing that we need to talk about is, you know, this idea of subtraction. You know, whenever we were very young and we were starting to learn about subtraction, generally the way we learned it is we had some items laid out in front of us like um, toy trucks or something like that. And then somebody would take some of them away and say, okay, now how many do we have left? So that was how we began to learn about what subtraction was. It was taking away something. When you get older and you start having, you know, um, uh, more of the hypothetical thinking skills, then we, we learn that there really are only positive and negative numbers in the world and really rather than adding or subtracting them all we're doing is combining them and this is a very hard concept to get it's it's very difficult to make that jump in our heads so what we're going to do is we're going to start back with the very simple concept of add and subtract just like we learned in grade school and we're going to look at it graphically and then we're going to learn to apply that when we're just talking about positive and negative numbers so let's look at uh, this 5 plus 3. Everybody knows that 5 plus 3 is 8 because we've been doing that for ages and ages. But let's look at it graphically. If we were to start at the number 5 on the number line and then go an additional 3 units, we would go 1, 2, 3 more units and end up at 8. That's what it looks like on a number line to do 5 plus 3. Now let's also look here at 5 minus 3. If we were to start at 5, oh, sorry, 5 minus 3 we know is 2. So if we were to start at 5 and then take away 3 units, we would go backwards. 1, 2, 3 units and end up at 2. So we know that 5 minus 3 is 2 and 5 plus 3 is 8. But look at how we moved um, graphically or on a number line. When we added something, we moved to the right, which is in the positive direction. When we subtracted, or what we think of as subtraction, we actually moved to the left, which is in the negative direction of the number line. That's really all there is to combining positive and negative integers. When you have a positive number, you move to the right. A negative number, you move to the left. Okay, now let's look at it again using that same idea, but look using starting out with negative numbers. Okay, if we start out at a negative 5, that would put us, whoops, right here on the number line. There we go. Sorry about that. And to add 3, we would move 3 in the positive direction. So that would put us 1, 2, 3 units. We would end up at negative 2. Now for the next one, this negative 3 plus 5. Let's start out at negative 3 and let's move 5 units in the positive direction. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units would put us at positive 2. That really is all there is to combining, or what we call adding and subtracting, positive and negative integers. Now, it's going to be kind of tedious just to try and use a number line every time you have to do something, which it will be always. So we need to look at these rules, and we really need to get down pat the rules. If the signs are the same, you add and keep the sign the same. If the signs are different, then we subtract, or what we think of as subtraction, and keep the sign of the larger number. Now, that those rules will apply to what you have done forever. In this case here, the signs were the same. The 5 is positive and the 3 is positive. So when we combine um, numbers with the same sign, we add 5 and 3 is 8 and keep the sign the same. Since they were both positive, this will be positive. If the numbers are different signs, here we have a positive and a negative, then we subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. 